Hi, Georgie Hope here, the foster cat woman. Uh, since February last year, I started fostering cats and now I have 40 that have gone, or nearly 40 that have gone to their forever homes. So I'm kind of the in-between between the, the pound and the forever home. So the rescue organization will uh, get the cats out of the pound and then I foster for those rescue organizations. One of the things with rescue cats is that when they come, sometimes they're absolutely terrified. At other times, you know, we have to keep them separated in the beginning because of the fact that they might have cat flu or some other kind of disease that they could pass on to the other cats. And so at the moment, they get a bedroom, which is pretty amazing, but I really want them to be able to have, you know, a lot more space to actually run around and play, especially in that isolation phase. And so that's why um, this project has come about. So the project is to enclose my balcony to create like a catio, which will be a, a space for the cats and kittens uh, to play in. Uh, and eventually I also wanna create window boxes from the bedrooms and enclose the backyard as well, just to create an amazing cat playground sanctuary for these foster rescue cats uh, before they get to their forever homes. So if you're somebody who um, wants to help with that, that would be amazing. And if you end up being somebody who's going to come and see the cats in the catio when it's built, um, or come and stay even, then we are so much looking forward to meeting you. This is the area that I would absolutely love to enclose. So if you guys can come and sit with some cats and kittens and chill out, enjoy the view. Super cuties like this little dude. <laughs> so gorgeous. Okay, so this is the rest of the balcony. Nice place to sit, some ledges for cats. There's a barbecue that's going. It's free if anyone wants it. And um, we're gonna remove a whole lot of stuff here and make it a really cool kitty play area. We'll have a double door entrance here so that the kitties can't escape. What do is hopefully from this bedroom where you can see Snickers having a bit of a sleep, sleep um, create like a walkway thing so that they can come into the patio from there and then there's an outdoor one down there as well that I can take them down to so yeah that's the that's the plan this is one of the rooms where I'd eventually like to be able to do the window box that can go down to the ground and also go over to the patio enclosure from this room and this is little Snickers and so they've got Plenty of hidey places in here. <laughs> but it would be so awesome to be able to give them that extra room to play. And this is the other kitty room. We have the beautiful Mia and Loki in here at the moment. But I would love to be able to have a window box as well for their room and then eventually be able to enclose the backyard. So that then they can access out there as well. Um, the bathroom, which I use as a play area, come toilet, come. <laughs> they love sleeping in the sink. <laughs> Look at your eyes. Oh, so cute. So, yeah, so they love, love playing in the bath with the balls and other toys. And but what I'd love to be able to do is. Put a window box that goes down to the ground and out to the backyard from that window as well. Choose the overnight option. This is the room that you would have. Air conditioning, you can have kitties if you want in your area. We've got Zorro and Hunter here who've now joined us <laughs> from the bathroom. Some nice greenery outside. And then you have a cool light switch <laughs> and there's your ensuite. So we've got shower and toilet. When you come out of your room, the kitchen is there on the left and the lounge area there on your right. I will be downstairs the whole time that you're here and I'll come in the back laundry door 
in order to feed and clean all the kitty litters. <laughs> oh, and here we have Zoro and Hunter again. <laughs> Hello, dudes. <laughs> And so from the lounge area is where you access the balcony.